KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 12th of December. I'm James Spann. Rain on the way. That rain begins tomorrow night. Rain at times Friday, but the weekend not all wet. Let's take a look at things this afternoon. There is the upper air look across the country. Got a shortwave trough north of the state, an upper low south of Phoenix, subtropical jet stream pushing high cirrus clouds across the region. Those are up at about 20,000 feet, kind of giving us filtered sunshine today. And it feels a little better with highs up in the 50s in most spots. At 2 o'clock, Birmingham was at 54, Tuscaloosa 56. And around the nation, temperatures slowly moderating around the country, not uh, too bad for mid-December. There's our watch warning map, a lot of wind issues for the western half of the United States. The eastern part of the country is quiet. Maybe some thunder tonight west of the state. And then tomorrow and tomorrow night, there's a chance of a few severe storms, a marginal risk for Louisiana and some of the adjacent states. That includes uh, Mobile and Baldwin counties in Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. And again, it's a low end threat, but there could be a few storms with gusty winds there. For most of the state, just rain tomorrow night. Then on day three, which is Friday, a marginal risk for places like Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando, Daytona Beach, and the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. Heaviest amounts up in Seattle, Washington. But pretty wet down here in the deep south. We're expecting rain amounts about one inch, and the bulk of that will be tomorrow night, Friday, and part of the day Saturday. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. Deep upper low over Texas. And down below that, we have a surface low developing around Dallas-Fort Worth. And during the day, we'll see rain west of the state. For the day, the sky will be cloudy, will be in the 50s. And the rain moves in here tomorrow night. This is midnight tomorrow night. Again, the surface low back over Texas. Could there be a little snow back in the western flank of that? around Wichita Falls and Abilene. Could be. Those upper lows can do things like that. Of course, that's a surface chart, but again, that's a stacked low. There's an upper part of that as well. This is Friday, the surface low creeping east. Uh, we'll see periods of rain throughout the day. The sky cloudy. We might see low 60s on Friday. And then Saturday, the system lifts out, but I think we'll see rain Saturday morning. We might get away with a dry afternoon. The sky will be cloudy, and again, the high will be in the 50s, and Sunday looks nice. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny and pretty pleasant. I'd say the high Sunday between 57 and 60. So of the two days, that's your day to do something outdoors this weekend. Let's go to next week. Things nice and quiet. Here's Monday. We're dry. Highs in the 50s. This is Tuesday. The same thing. And a week from today, Wednesday the 19th, upper low south of El Paso. And for us, we stay in a dry air mass. Looks like all next week will be dry and seasonal. Highs mostly in the 50s, lows mostly in the 30s. This is 10 days out, Saturday, December 22nd. Troughing over the Rio Grande Valley, a little shortwave ridge here. And again, that looks quiet. Uh, after this rain, we get uh, uh, tomorrow night through Saturday morning. We might be dry for a while. In fact, let's just look at Christmas Day. Why not? This is Tuesday, December 25th. Nothing but voodoo here, but if by chance this is right, we're still dry. And the numbers, nothing extreme showing up on the GFS ensemble output. Most days, highs in the 50s. Most nights, lows in the 30s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.